If you want to completely change the look and performance of your 2019 or newer Ram 1500 with the factory halogen headlights, this set of Alpha Rex Lux Series MK2500 style LED projector headlights with the alpha black housing and clear lens will be a great way to do it. Now these will be great for the Ram owner who is a fan of that stealthy and blacked out appearance when it comes to lighting and wants to integrate that into their build while also increasing the lighting performance compared to their stock headlights for better confidence when driving at night. Not to mention the modernized styling that will transform the appearance of the front end of the truck for that updated and premium look. Now breaking down these lights a little further, these again are going to have that stealthy black housing on the inside while integrating a clear lens on the front to make sure that these will have an aggressive appearance without sacrificing any lighting performance in the meantime. Now right in the center, this will include two large projector lenses housing an LED high and low beam that will significantly increase the light output and create a clear beam pattern and a very sharp cutoff line for optimal lighting performance at night. Now surrounding the lenses is going to be that C-shaped LED LED running light. It's going to have a smoke lens on top, but it is going to have a bright white appearance most of the time, but we'll also switch back to amber for your turn signal. Again, making you very noticeable to other drivers on the road for safety, but it's really going to up that style element. As so we'll also have that amber reflector over on the side just to kind of break up all of the uh, black or stealthiness that's going on with these headlights and of course keep up to OE standards. Now with the laundry list of features that these have, these will also have a high quality construction with an alpha black plastic housing for a factory like fit. And of course it's going to add that very aggressive appearance when it comes to the inside of the light. Now on the front, the lens will offer that strength and resilience, which is very important because it's the one part of the light that shows its age first. Now this one is going to hold up very well with a UV resistant and anti-fog polycarbonate material. So you won't have to worry about those lighter impacts off road or any kick up on road or the lens is fading over time. Now I think one of the best things about this set is the fact that this is going to be completely plug and play when it comes to the install, not only making it super easy and taking all of the question out of it, but the fact that you are switching from a halogen to a high performing full LED setup, uh, it makes it very easy to completely transform the front end of your truck. Now these will be a premium option, so they will come with more of a premium price point at roughly $1,200. Now again, these are going to boast quality when it comes to the build and all the features, including that LED switchback light bar and the large LED dual projectors, making visibility very precise and very bright. Now not to mention the fitment and the ease that you're getting with this when it comes to install and not needing any maintenance over time because of the nature of an LED just makes it stand apart from the rest and is well worth it if you'd rather pay a premium for a set that you won't have to worry about in the long run. Now when it comes to install, this is going to be straightforward, but I am still going to give it a lighter two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. But as long as you have the right setup and some pretty basic hand tools, it should take you about 45 minutes to get the job done. Now at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown on how to get these onto your RAM at home. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Tools required for this install include a ratchet, a clip remover tool, a fuse tap, wire strippers and crimpers, a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters, T25 Torx driver, a 10 millimeter ratcheting S wrench, eight and 10 millimeter sockets, some zip ties, and a couple microfiber towels. What's up guys? Today we're installing a set of headlights on our Ram. First, we're gonna watch a quick little uninstall video for removing your stock headlights, and I'll meet you right back here for the install. So for this install, you're going to need to pop your hood, remove your upper rad cover, the grill, and some of the surrounding trim. It's a pretty simple process. I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. So let's get started. So we're going to start by removing our upper rad cover. There's a bunch of plastic clips that need to be removed. So I'm going to use my plastic clip removal tool and pop the heads of them open. And then once I get those all removed, I can pull the panel off. and we're gonna pull this panel right off. The next piece we need to remove is the headlight trim and grill trim here on the top of the vehicle. Uh, it's a combination of a pop clip and 10 millimeter screws. So I'm gonna use my clip tool once again and a 10 mil socket to pull all of these out and then I can just remove this piece from the vehicle.
Next, I'm going to use my 8mm socket to remove some of the screws here on the inner wheel well and pull the liner back to expose a little bit more hardware that's hiding behind the liner so I can get this panel off that surrounds the headlight. So now that I have the liner pulled back, I've exposed this 10 millimeter bolt here inside the wheel well liner and I'm gonna use my 10 mil on a ratchet and just pull that out. Now I'll just repeat this process on the other side. Next, I'm going to need to remove my grill. There are three 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom of either side of the grill, and there are four across the top. I'll just use my 10 mil socket on my small impact gun, remove all of those screws, and pull the grill off. So now that I have my grill removed, I can go ahead and start unbolting and unhooking my headlights. I have a clip here at the top as well as a 10 millimeter bolt. And then I have a 10 millimeter bolt here on the side from the fender. And I'll just use my 10 mil socket and my clip tool and pull those out. And then I can unhook my headlights. It's a little hard to see, but I'm just going to unplug my headlight connectors from the back. Just push down on the tabs to release them, and then you can pull the headlight out. So the first thing we need to do is transfer the lower bracket on our stock headlight over to our new headlight. It's held in by five T25 Torx screws. So I've got a T25 Torx driver to remove those, transfer it over, and tighten it back down. So now we have one bolt on either side, as well as three at the bottom here. So we'll grab that T25 Torx driver take these out. Now with all of those removed, we can just slide our bracket off and transfer it over to our new headlight. So now on our bracket, we have these two little cutouts. There are little tabs on our headlight right here and right here that are gonna slide into those. We'll get that lined up, slid in, and then we can reinstall our bolts.
and now we'll do that same thing for our other headlight. Next we can get our wiring situated. Now we have a red and black wire that are going to go to our battery terminals as well as a gray wire that you're going to need to source a fuse tap for. So we'll grab our gray wire, slide it into the end of our fuse tap, and then use wire crimpers to crimp it down. So slide our wire in, and then crimp down on it to make our connection. So first we're gonna connect the two terminal connectors for our battery. Before we do that, I'm gonna pop this inline fuse out of place. And then we can grab a 10 millimeter socket to loosen up this nut. And then we can slide our positive onto that stud. And tighten it back down. And then we'll do that same thing on our negative. Next we can install our fuse tap. So we'll press in these two tabs on the cover of our fuse box to pop that off. We're gonna be looking for the F35 fuse, which is this 10 amp right here. You also have a diagram on the underside of the cover to help you find it. So we'll pull that out with some needle nose pliers and then put our fuse tap in that same spot. And then we can reinstall our cover. Next, we can start to run our harness. So our yellow wire is gonna to go to our driver's side headlight bucket. So we can just drop that in. And then we have these bullet style connectors. There's a shorter end, which is gonna go right down the same way into our driver's side headlight bucket. And then we have our longer wire that's gonna run over to the other side. and then we can come back and zip tie up our excess. So now we can take some zip ties to zip tie our wire harness to our core support. And then we'll take a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters to chop off our excess. And then we'll do another one on the other side. So now we're ready to install our headlight. So all we have to do is make our connections and then slide it into place. Now this yellow wire, we have the plug for on the driver's side, but not the passenger. So we won't be plugging this in, but on the driver's side, you will make that connection. And on the passenger side, we're just gonna plug in our bullet connector and the larger of our two factory connectors. And then we'll slide this into place. Next, we can reinstall our two bolts. And now we can line everything up and take a 10 millimeter socket to tighten down our two bolts. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. Next, we can reinstall our grill. Next, we can reinstall the four bolts at the top of our grill. And then we'll grab a 10 millimeter socket to tighten these down. Next, we can reinstall our upper trim. Now we can reinstall all of those bolts up top. And then we'll grab that 10 millimeter socket to tighten them down. And now we'll do that same thing on the other side.
and then we'll tighten those down with our 10 millimeter socket. Next we can reinstall our radiator cover. And now we can reinstall our six push clips per side. And now we'll do that same thing on this side. Next, we can come to the lower corners of our grill and reinstall our three bolts. The shorter one's gonna be on the outside hole and the two longer ones are gonna be towards the inside. And now with our three bolts in place, we can tighten those down with a 10 millimeter socket. And now we can reinstall our cover. And we'll do that same thing on the other side. And now the last thing we need to do is go back towards our battery and reinstall the inline fuse that we popped out earlier. Next we can reinstall that bolt that sits right here. Now it's gonna be hard to see. We'll get it through our hole. We'll start threading that into place. You can thread that in most of the way by hand. And now I'm gonna be taking this angled ratcheting wrench to tighten that the rest of the way down. And then we can replace our fender liner. And reinstall our three bolts. Next, we can grab our eight millimeter socket to tighten these all down. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Lux Series MK2 2500 style LED projector headlights in alpha black housing and clear lens for your 2019 and newer Ram 1500 with factory halogen headlights. Thank you for watching and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.